Hello everyone, we're back with another Dime Box Discoveries. Um, went up to a show in Dayton in early April, was able to snag a bunch of stuff, all of it, out of the Dime Box. Well, we won't waste any time, we'll jump right into it. Um, one of the things that really kind of popped out was there was a whole bunch of really good opening day 2022s in there. I was really pleased for a Dime to be able to snag Shohei Itani, Juan Soto, Mike Trout, uh, Acuna Jr., Tatis Jr., and then... A whole bunch of the Topps All-Star Rookie Cup team cards with Tyler Stevenson, Mount Castle, Jonathan India, Patrick Wisdom, Dylan Carlson, Randy Rosarina, Adolis Garcia, Luis Garcia, Emmanuel Claus, and just because of the Reds, Jesse Winker, though Winker obviously no longer on the Reds now with the Mariners. Also in there, how about a Stomper? Can't go wrong with a Stomper card. Um... Dimebox had some interesting stuff. It's kind of a wide range of things. One of the things I do like to collect are the, collect are the tops box bottoms. And this thing was loaded with all the 89s, Ripkins and Bretts. Actually, whoever cut these did a pretty nice job on them, too. Two Nolan Ryans, a pair of Mike Schmitz, a pair of Jim Rice, a pair of Daryl Evans, a pair of Goose Gossages, and there's a Bill Buckner, and one 1990 uh, Cal Ripken. Kind of a bad crease or cut there in the corner, but uh, that, that's okay. That totally fine by me. So those are only a dime a piece, which was great by me. Um, how about some randomness in the golf? Hale Irwin, I'm trying to remember if this is 90, 80, I don't remember. Um, whatever this is, 1980, I believe this was. And then an Arnold Palmer. So I usually pick up golf, but I thought those were kind of interesting, so I'll pick those on up. Um, anybody who's seen my previous videos know that I clicked Mark McGuire. So I was able to grab a couple of Mark McGuire's that I don't think I have and that I possibly need for my collection. I also collect Dante Culpepper. Um, and there were a couple of him in there, which is nice. And then from the Swell series, how about Art Rooney, Vince Lombardi, Lombeau, and uh, George Hallis. You know, I found a couple of them that were the in there for a dime that included the, um, uh, you know, cases. So... I mean, the, the cases alone are worth a dime. Um, what I found is the Danny Ainge, at some point, someone was trying to sell for $13. And then Greg Jeffries, someone was trying to sell for $12.99 at some point. That's entertaining. Those two cards are worth it just for the um, uh, cases alone. So that was really cool to see those in there. I also collect starting lineup cards. So to snag a John Road was cool. And I also try and grab any cards with the American flag as a backdrop you will see some American and flag cards coming up a little bit here in a moment. Able to also grab a couple of some reprint type of stuff. These are those, um, I don't care what their series are from, but I, I pick them up all the time. Eddie Plank, Gaylord Perry, George Brett, and then some Conlins, Charlie Root from Middletown, Ohio. And then a couple of the colorized ones with Ray Shulk, a uh, pair of Ray Shulks. So the colors ones are always really cool and usually you find somebody you need them. So they're, they're good trade bait material. Um, also, I bought a pair of Griffey Juniors. Those are nice. Rick Anderson collect a book. There's Nolan Ryan on the mini. Strawberry 83 reprint. Tom Seaver. I don't even know what that is, but that was cool. Uh, Devers in the Topps Gold Label. Uh, Ricky Henderson Stadium Club. His cards always look so cool. He always has so many in the um, landscape format also because he's always still in basis. So that's cool. Tony Gwynn Sticker. Uh, there's an old Ryan Kmart, Barry Larkin in the top scallery. Those top scallers are just really sweet, aren't they? They look so good. Todd Helton in the yellow or gold outline. Uh, there's a Reggie Jackson, Deion Sanders with the Reds. There's the Ripken family. I always thought that was a cool card. Uh, Winfield and the Diamond King, the 87 Travel Update Classics, which are always cool. Wally Joyner this time. Greg Jeffries in the 89 Upper Deck. And Lane Thomas. I interviewed him the day he was drafted in his driveway. So if I see Lane Thomas, I usually try and grab it. Uh, grabbed a couple of um, the Topps buybacks with Pat Kelly there. And um, well, rookie card, no one amazing there. Juan Berenger, I guess, would be the um, headline of that one, maybe. But I always grab those when I see them. I uh, always like to snag a couple college guys, too, in the uniforms. Wally Zerbiak went to Miami, so did I. I was there at the same time, so I always grab Wally. Especially love the fact that he's in his Miami jersey in a couple of these. Uh, some John Stockton's are always nice to grab. Um, so you can see which ones of those I got. Um, 
And then some Carl Malone's. Always go to grab some Carl Malone. Stockton and Malone can't go wrong. Um, if you've seen my previous videos as well, you know that I do collect all the Topps All-Star Rookie Cup cards. Very close to finishing all of them ever made. Um, but these are in kind of the oddball set version of them, the variation sets of them, and Heritage and things like that. So I always grab those as an OPG. So I was able to snag a whole bunch of those and some chrome. Let's see how those guys, the top's gold. More chrome, more chrome. So you can see some heritage. Those were good there. These are just some odd kind of things. Nikola Tesla. I just thought that was really cool. It turns out it goes for a few bucks. I don't really care about that. I just thought it was cool to have the Tesla. And then a couple of the sticker cards from the Topps Desert Shield um, or Desert Storm set. So there's the Metal Valor, there's the Desert Storm, and then there are a couple more American flags, like I said, um, would be in here. These are just kind of random. How about a Matt Williams and Ramon Martinez AAA All-Star Game cards back from 1990? Uh, those are random, and they're just kind of cool. So, yeah. Um, some college football. Tony Hunter went to my high school. Vegas Ferguson, some more Notre Dame National Champions. Uh, he's Schuler there in his Tennessee uniform. Trevor Geller went to Miami University. And then I uh, covered Virginia Tech, and there's some Ohio State. And then really random World Football League card, the Montreal Machine. Had a fair amount of hockey, some good stuff too. These are really cool. These are 2009 OPG. These are some kind of retro card. They were an insert to the 2009 OPG. They're 1 in 36 packs, so they actually bring... A few bucks for each, which is just really cool. I'd never seen them before, so I grabbed them. Jonathan Taze and Henrik Lundqvist. And then there are a bunch of Joe Sackicks. I collect Sackicks, so I snagged all those. Um, how about a Peter Forsberg? That's really cool. Hall of Famer. Mario Lemieux. Several of those. This, by the way, is considered a George Bush rookie card. Um, if you ever wondered what the George Bush rookie card is, technically it is this one. Although I do know he has some other thing, uh, one in tops that was a uh, printed out or made card for just some specific people, but this is the one that a lot of times gets considered the George Bush rookie card. Mario Lemieux, I just love this one with the cup. It's just really cool. And there was one Wayne Gretzky, so I snagged that. There's no Nolan. And then you, of course, had uh, her, who was the first female professional hockey player. There are a few men there, so I thought I'd grab those. And then the last two things in here um, are really kind of cool. These are random. This is a Rick, or Ken Griffey Jr. Um, oh, I can't remember what this was. It's Quality Meats from 1994. A disc is really cool. And then this, of all things, was a dime, unbelievably. This is, I think it's 1986. I think they are tattoos. Um, and this is a sheet of all of these. And you've got Chet Lemon on there, Tom Seaver on there, uh, Vaughn Hayes, Tom Browning. Bruce Sutter and Alan Trammell on there, plus some other random um, sort of ones. But these are really cool. That was maybe my most favorite find from the entire show. I had to figure out what these were. I think they're 86 or 87 um, tattoos, and I think they're Fleer, maybe? Let's go back and look. I knew this before. Or Tops. Sorry, they're Tops. Uh, it says Tops there. I knew what these were before I started, but now I can't remember what they are. They're Tops, so... Those are just really cool, something different, something neat. Hope you saw something interesting, maybe learned a little something. Um, got a little idea of what's happening in the dime box. Should have more coming up for you here soon. Some more shows on the horizon very, very soon, including this weekend coming up. Um, anyway, have a great night. I hope everything is going well for you guys. Keep collecting.